Frustration. Jesus is unjustly condemned. Jesus is unfairly accused and put on trial for lying and caring about others. Father convicts Jesus against his better judgment to please the crowd. Sometimes we meet people and judge them because of the way they look or act. Sometimes we forget our own morals and values and follow the crowd. Dear Jesus, help me to be fair and help me not to judge others. Help me also to stand up for what I believe in and do the right thing so I can be loving and caring like you. Second station. Jesus takes up his cross. Jesus takes on the great burden of carrying the cross. Though he is not guilty of any crime, he accepts the heavy cross and carries it to show how much he loves us. We must accept what happens in our life when our own cross seems too heavy. We must stop and think of Jesus and how much he suffered for us. Dear Jesus, when I have problems, I am in a way carrying your cross with you. Even though I bear only a piece of your cross, you are there to help carry all of mine. Third station, Jesus falls for the first time. The cross is heavy and Jesus is weak. The soldiers are pushing him along. When all of a sudden he stumbles and falls, sometimes we say mean things that hurts others. It is like falling. Every time we do not listen to our parents, fail to do my homework, or cheat on a test. Dear Jesus, I make mistakes. Help me to realize that when I hurt others, or do not help when I can, I am hurting myself and hurting you. Fourth station, Jesus meets Mary. Along the road, Mary catches a glimpse of her son, and for a brief moment, their eyes meet. Imagine the pain she must feel knowing that she cannot do anything to help him. A mother is loving and forgiving, one who shares our sorrow and pain as if it were her own. Our joy is her joy, our sadness is her sadness. Dear Jesus, help me to love your mother Mary whom you love so much. Teach me to always show how much I love my parents, grandparents, and guardians. Fifth station, Simon helps carry the cross. Simon is just an ordinary person who is selected out of the crowd to help Jesus carry his cross. Simon did not want to get involved, but by the time they reached the top of the hill, he was glad he helped Jesus. Sometimes we argue about having to help or do things we do not want to do. And, dear Jesus, let me always be ready and willing to help others. I could then be like Simon and help you carry your cross. Sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. Jesus is hot and sweaty, and the blood is running into his eyes, making it difficult to see. Out of the crowd comes Veronica, a woman who makes her way to Jesus to wipe his face. In thanks, he left a picture of his face on her veil. Like Veronica, we should offer our help willingly without always having to be asked. Dear Jesus, teach me to be brave and stand up for what is right. Help me to realize that whatever I do for others, I do for you. Seventh station. Jesus falls for the second time. Jesus falls again. The cross seems heavier now. And the pain is stronger, yet no one there can take away his suffering. He was all alone. There are times that, like Jesus, we feel alone. Dear Jesus, give me your strength to withstand the suffering that comes from peer pressure as a result of trying to do the right things 
Help me to remember that I am never alone, for you are always with me. Eighth station, Jesus consoles the women and children. Despite his own suffering, Jesus takes time to comfort the women and children in the crowd. He stops and says to them, Don't cry for me, but for yourselves and your children. Sometimes we are so wrapped, wrapped up in our own problems that we forget about others. Dear Jesus, you love me no matter what I do. May your suffering make me strong and help me share your love with everyone I meet. Ninth station, Jesus falls for the third time. Jesus falls for the last time under the weight of the cross, only to get up again. His falling is the only station that is repeated. Jesus sets an example for all of us by trying again and again. When we fail, we must keep trying as Jesus did. Dear Jesus, when I'm really down, help me remember that you got up again and again. Rather than find blame, help me move on. Tenth Station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. Jesus stands on top of the hill and is stripped of his clothes. He teaches us that we should value people more than things. Material things that are of value to us today are often thrown away tomorrow. Dear Jesus, everything I have is a gift from you. Everything I do, I try to do in your name. Please help me remember with it, that without you in my life, I have nothing. Eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. The soldiers roughly place Jesus down on the cross, and nails are driven into his hands and feet. Sometimes we must give up what we have or do, what we do not want to do. Dear Jesus, help me forgive people who hurt me, just as you forgave those who nailed you to the cross. 12th station, Jesus dies on the cross. Jesus knows that now everything has been completed. He yells out, it is finished. Then he bows his head and gives up his spirit. It was so unnecessary for Jesus to die this way. He was not a criminal. He had done no wrong. So often that seems the way. Look at the thousands of people that are killed each day through abortion, war, and acts of violence. Jesus said, as long as you did it to one of these, you did it to me. Dear Jesus, you died so that I can live. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you.